What is going on guys? It is Mark, the Mercado channel, Mercado's Vending, and we are back with another video today, guys. It has been um, on a very amazing weekend. Um, yesterday I got home to a little surprise by my doorstep um, after a long day with the family. I received another machine in the mail. This machine here is a single head, another single head Rhino Pro. Um, this one was given to me by Quick Play. Um, check out their channel if you guys don't know who that is. Quick Play, they have amazing content when it comes to vending and collections. Go check them out. I'm going to put a link in the description, guys. Um, and yeah, today um, we're going to do something a little similar than what we did in previous video where we did the unboxing of this machine. But I don't want to do so much talking. I just want to show you guys exactly how to step-by-step step put this machine together, guys. Um, it's super easy. Um, but I want to actually show you guys everything that comes inside the boxes, um, the screws, the flange, everything. And I want to show you how to actually put it together properly and make sure um, everything is tightened and secured. So when you go place it, you have no problems, guys. So with that being said, thank you guys all for tuning in. And yeah, let's jump right into it. So guys, the first thing you see when you open up the head is four keys. It comes with four keys inside of the box. So guys, the second thing that comes in the head box is the head itself, like I said, with the keys. A few things that come in the box also are the manual to install it, in which I don't need, and it comes with a sticker for the price to put on your globe, 25 cent sticker to put on the inside. All right, guys, I got everything out of the box. As you can see, I have the base, I have the pole, we have the flange here. We have our screws, our bolts that go on top. We have our keys to unlock the lid, to take the globe off, the base, the, the coin drawer, and then we can get to installing this. So guys, let's jump right into it. So guys, the first thing I wanna do is, so I got my base on the ground, I got my pole. The first, first, first thing I'm gonna do to install this I'm going to place the pole right on the base and all you have to do guys is twist it until you get a nice tight fit where it's on there and I'll let you know when it's ready. I'm going to spin it, I'm going to put my foot on it, I'm going to tighten it up real good and as you can see guys, it's ready to go for the next step. So I would say step number one, get that pole on the base. Get it nice and sturdy, nice and tight, and we can jump right into the next step. All right, guys, step number two. This right here is called the flange. This is what goes mounted on top of the pole here. This here as well has some grooves in here that screws right on top of here. Super easy fit. You're going to place that on top, and you're just going to screw it on, guys, like I said, until you get a nice tight nice tight fit guys so you got the base you got the pull you got the flange nice and tight and secure that's not going anywhere guys very heavy duty and then we can jump into the next step so guys step number three we got all this all set we are going to take the lid off of the globe so we can disassemble each part of this machine I have the keys here. I'm gonna jump right into this, unlock this, and we'll jump into the next step. So guys, we're gonna be jumping into step four. We got the lid off of the globe. Everything comes off so easily. As you can see, I'm gonna pop this globe right off, guys. I'll place it off to the side. If you guys didn't know, this machine here, when you order it, comes with a candy wheel. I explained it in my other um, video where I unboxed this. Comes with a free candy wheel. So thank you, CandyMachines.com. This comes off as well, guys. Now we have the base here. And this here is a coin drawer, guys. So guys, in order to get to the holes on the bottom of the the head here, you have to take off the coin drawer. If you ordered your machine with a coin drawer, you cannot see the holes. So what you're gonna do, guys, you're gonna take the key, you're going to unlock the coin drawer, you're gonna slide the coin drawer right out, and that allows you guys to get to the bottom of the holes. Okay, guys? So we will be jumping into step five soon. 
All right, guys, next step, we took the coin drawer out. We have our main base here, the very bottom of the entire machine where the coin drawer is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place this right here. We are going to place it on top of the flange and on the flange you have holes in which you're gonna find the holes, right guys? Make sure it's equal. When it's equal, all you're gonna do guys is bolt, screw these things right on into the holes right on the bottom and then that's where this little socket wrench comes in where you can tighten these bolts down for a nice and secure fit. So guys, like I said, it's nice and even. I can see all the four holes. All I'm gonna do is take my 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna put them right inside the hole here, guys. And all I'm going to do is screw them right on for a tight fit. All right, guys, we got all four 10 millimeters screwed on to the bottom of the flange, hand tight. Now we're gonna take our little socket wrench here and we are going to go in and make sure that they're properly tightened. All right, that one's all set. We'll get to the next one. That one's getting tight as well. We'll go to the next one. And that one is tight as well. And then the fourth one here. And that one is tight as well. This is pretty much it, guys. Now I'm going to show you just putting it back together. And yeah, guys, let's get right into that. So, guys, once you got it all put together, once you have this here um, bolted onto the flange, you can go and put your coin drawer right back in. If you ordered it with a coin drawer, if you didn't, it'll just be this step without. It'll be everything will be the same just without the coin drawer. So we're gonna slide that in. We're gonna lock it up, take our key out, and that's our coin drawer. So guys, next you're just gonna put your coin mech with the base right back on there. Next step, you're going to take your globe, your candy wheel, you're going to find it, line the holes up, sit that right on there, make sure everything is sitting on there properly, and last but not least, guys, you want to put your lock right back in the hole, and you want to tighten your globe up. Obviously, when you go to put product, guys, you'll just unlock it. Take your lid off, place your product in. But right now we're not gonna fill it up with product. So what we're gonna do here is just we're gonna tighten it up to a nice fit, not too tight, not too loose. And that right there, guys, is how you install a Rhino Pro gumball machine from Candy Machines Warehouse, guys. That is it. This machine is super heavy. But as you can see, we installed it extremely properly. Everything is nice and tight. And you can't forget, it comes with a free candy wheel, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this step-by-step -step installment. For future, if you go to ever buy one, if you guys wanna tune right back into this video, I hope this was extremely helpful. Um, I cannot forget, like I said, it was a free machine, but this is how much this machine cost, exactly how I received it with the coin drawer um, and everything else. So the machine itself cost $64.86. Um, they used a $10.49 coupon. Um, the shipping is $20.39. And the stand with the pole, they consider that $40. But all together, the total amount was $114, guys, with 75 cents. Okay, guys? $114 with 75 cents is how much um, this machine costs. Thank you so much, Quick Play, for the free giveaway. I appreciate it so much. The support has been awesome. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Until the next one, this is the Mercado Channel. See you guys.